Hello, my name is Alethea, this is Gadget Covered. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. As you can tell, I have a huge project on my hands. What is this project, you might ask? Well, about a month ago, I was thinking to myself, all right, the Met Gala has been canceled or at least postponed for the rest of 2020, but that doesn't mean that I can't make a cool dress. So I made this design and I was going to sew this. I was going to sew this dress because I thought it would look super dope and then I was gonna make myself a face mask and get some cool photos in this and pretend this is what celebrities would be wearing if we were having the Met Gala but safely with a mask. However, I had bought all the supplies. I was ready to go. And then I get on Instagram, of course, procrastinating, and I see that Vogue had released this video. Hello, Vogue, Billy Porter here. The time has come for the challenge to end all fashion challenges. Pick an iconic Met Gala look from years past and recreate it in your home. But you best be creative. Yeah, so that's a big deal. If there's literally the tiniest chance, the tiniest chance that I could be featured in Vogue, I'm going to jump on that chance. Plus, this sounds like a fun challenge. Anyway, so I decided to ditch my design. I returned all the fabric that I had bought and I decided I was going to get new fabric and try to base it off of some iconic dress from the past. Originally, I was going to make Emma Roberts' dress from last year, this like puffy pink tulle dress. Beautiful dress, but I don't think it's complicated enough, not enough for me to get noticed. So I got home and I was like, all right, let's do this. And then my husband was like, didn't you really, really wanna make that Zendaya dress? Which was true. I'd been looking at it for a long time, but it looked very difficult. We were like, let's just look and see if we can find the fabric. There wasn't enough yellow fabric at Joanne's, so we went to this other fabric store called SAS. And we ended up finding this and I'm going to paint the design on it. It's a tall order and it's uh, I have to submit this by May 1st, which gives me about a week to finish this and edit the video and upload it in time for the challenge. So I'm like literally so nervous that this is gonna be one of those things that's like expectation versus reality and my dress will be the reality and it'll be really sad, but I cannot let negative thoughts get me down, all right? We're trying to do something way out of my talent range have to have all the positive vibes I can get. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. After I shoot this intro, I'm gonna stand around for like half an hour trying to figure out what I'm doing because I did not buy a pattern and I'm starting from scratch. I'm not talented enough to do this, so wish me luck. <laughs> Just kidding, that's a bad attitude. All right, I am talent. I am 100% talented enough. Wow, you could feel the confidence radiating through your screen, didn't ya? All right, let's go. <laughs> I've been like putting off starting. I'm just like looking up. Ooh, how to make a skirt. I know how to make a skirt. I just think that if I don't start, nothing bad will happen. There's so much fabric. It is the next day and I am back to work. I'm still working on the underskirt because I am slow at sewing, but I'm gonna start sewing this skirt so I can get the overall shape and then I'm gonna add a bunch of tulle that I cut to create the puff. Especially I wanted to have kind of a bustle in the back. So I did some layers of several different lengths and hopefully that'll give it a natural curve. I'm just making things up as I go. So yeah, hopefully it works out. All right, let's start sewing. Get you set up over here so you can watch me sew. So interesting. So interesting, get it? Uh -huh. Ta da, revolutionary, right? Next, I'm gonna be watching a movie that I need to watch for school, anyways. So I figured we'll do a little double time. What's it called? What's it called? Multitasking. That's the word. I always end things with a thumbs up and it's so awkward. I have to watch an Indiana Jones movie for an actual college class. Dude, electives are a joke. I know that's mean, but like, I did choose the class, so maybe that's my fault. <laughs> you know what, a better way to view that would be, I'm gonna watch Indiana Jones for school and I'm living my best life, get to watch a movie for a grade. Bam, bam. I say bam, bam a lot. I'm awkward all of a sudden. Okay, so since I want this to have a lot of volume, I'm gonna gather it by kind of scooting it over and then pulling it down. Should look all bunched up. And then I will look like a princess. Puffy, like Cinderella. 
Anyways, I'm taking this like archaeology class and I think this is supposed to show me how Hollywood is making their jobs harder. I don't know. I'm supposed to write a project, a report on it, but I haven't read the instructions or anything yet. It's due in like two days. Instead, I'm doing this because Vogue told me to. Woo woo. See? And do you see how small it got? So that's why I have to do so many of them. I'm scared I'm gonna make it snap. If you make this snap halfway through, you have to go back and re-sew it. So you have to be very gentle. <laughs> Hello. Two hours later, I finished sewing straight lines across the top of all my fabric, and then I'm gonna gather them, and hopefully we'll create a lot of volume underneath my skirt. So this is actually my first time watching any Indiana Jones movie. I grew up super homeschooled, which basically means we couldn't watch anything over a G rating. So my very professional review is that this was extremely cheesy, but like weirdly entertaining to watch. Definitely helped pass the time. Constantinople, now Turkey. The information I have, thanks to my wife. Thanks, wife. You're welcome. But wait, there's more. So I decided to glue these pieces on because I didn't want to actually kill my sewing machine. And I'm really glad that I didn't try to sew with this because it was already like choking underneath all of that. <laughs> so, time to glue, and then I think we're done for the day. Hi, it's 2 a.m. Oh, it's 2.30 and I'm not having a good time. <sighs> I literally just feel like I'm not good enough at this. And nothing is doing what I want it to do and my machine broke a needle. <laughs> Jude is turning on the microwave. <laughs> During my crisis. <laughs> Anyways, this lighting is really, really bad. Holy cow. I don't know if that's better or not. Whatever. I don't have anything else to add. I just thought I should show whenever I start crying so you guys can know how annoying this is. We got this, babe. <laughs> Thanks. I can see into the future, and I've already seen you make those cuffs. Mm, does it look good? Looks bomb, dude. That helps. It looks like the fizzle is <laughs> Nice. All right, well, on that note, let's get back to it. Hi there, I didn't mean to press record. I'm pretty much ready to start painting. So for the skirt, instead of having to paint out individually every single parrot, since they have to look the same, I figured, let's make a stencil and make our life easier. I'm gonna try spray painting the base and then using acrylic on top. Hopefully, I don't get it all over the skirt. And if I do, I'll just paint some flowers over it, I don't know. I don't really have a plan B. I don't have enough fabric to make this all over again. So I'm really just trying to have fun with this because I just keep like having <laughs> little mental breakdowns. Like every hour it feels like just being so frustrated, trying to get something done and it won't work. I think I'm gonna just try to have fun with this, especially with the painting part. I used to paint, so this bit, I think should be fun and relaxing for me versus sewing. I don't know what it is about sewing, but it just like unlocks a whole different side of my temper. In preparation for my temper tonight, I decided to dress the part. Just kidding, this is actually a leftover Halloween costume. Me and my husband dressed up as aliens escaped from Area 51. And since I didn't care about getting paint on this, this was perfect. I got spray painted a lot more than I thought I would. I think that went well. Wow, my forehead looks huge from this angle. Anyways, so I'm doing the second layer of my stencil. I have a two-part stencil. First layer, red, and then second layer for the beak, I'm gonna do white and then blue for the wings. Okay. I just got red paint on my camera. Ugh. It's okay, it's for art, it's fine. <laughs> Everything takes longer than I think it will. Everything. I like this one. This one turned out a lot better. I did this one second. I don't trust that face. <laughs> and then my feathers are all janky. This one got in a fight, I guess. Oh! 
Oh my gosh, I just noticed that. Well, there'll be a flower over that anyways. Okay. I am sleepy, but I have a parrot to paint, so signing off. Actually, would you like to watch? Would you like to watch me paint this parrot? Yeah, you would. I'm acting really weird. How's that? You like it? That's a bad angle. You can't really see what I'm painting, but can't be giving away my secrets. My mediocre painting skills. Also, I got my hand stuck in super glue. <laughs> uh, you can't see my face, so this is like really awkward audio. There's super glue on the ground. <laughs> This is about to be not a very well produced video because normally Jude helps me. And this one, I've just been doing it. Look at that angle, like what? That is unprofessional. I could set up professional shots if I wanted to, but the thing is, I'm trying to make this dress look good, not necessarily the shots, if you know what I mean. So I finished all of the parrots, which I'm very happy about, and now I'm gonna start on the flowers and like the little vine swirly things going throughout it. I've stayed up all night working on this, and I'm probably just gonna not sleep today and just work on all the flowers because <laughs> there's a lot to do. Also, I have finals, like two finals this week, and I'm painting a dress instead, so I'm very good at prioritizing. <laughs> One eternity later. I finally finished painting all the flowers on my skirt. That took me, I think like 30 hours. I pulled like two all-nighters. Vogue put out this challenge, I think last Thursday or Friday. It's now the following Friday and I was hoping to be done on Sunday. I literally told myself I would get this done in a weekend, which is obviously not what happened. Yeah, these flowers, that's the culprit. Taking me forever. That one, I hate it. I'm relatively happy with the way it turned out. I just have to add some gradient flowers kind of like falling down throughout the dress and filling in some of the gaps. I don't want it to be too cluttered because I want it to still look like a yellow dress. Wish me luck as I try to finish this in a reasonable time. Bye. It is the day before the deadline. This is what it's looking like so far. I painted the top with acrylic paint and then folded it over in this little crisscrossy pattern because I wanted it to look like the actual dress and I think it turned out pretty good. It's not perfect but none of this has been perfect so. Okay I finished sewing my skirt panels together and look at that. Really nice. And now I'm going to go to sleep because my eyes were literally doing this. So I was like I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a nap and get back to work. You guys know me, I don't really like to show a lot of skin or like boobs, so I brought the dress up just a little bit higher than hers goes. She has a sleeve that falls off the shoulder, but I'm gonna make it so it has the ability to also be kind of like a cap sleeve as well. So that way, if I don't feel like showing my shoulders, I don't have to. Right now, I am pinning the bodice of my wedding dress to the bodice of the painted dress because I need to have some level of structure and some boning, and then the top also has this like little sticky stuff keep it from falling down. Yes, I decided to hack open my wedding dress, but it did not fit me anymore. <laughs> not even close. It's like six inches too small in the back. I remember like on my wedding day, we were like stuffing me into the dress because I accidentally ordered a size too small. So it's going to a good cause. And I'm gonna secure it probably with some glue because I don't really want there to be too many seams on the outside. Exotic, that's what I see. Lips so thick, she got stung by a bee. Yeah. Man, I swear my eyes get the deep once you walk through the room so gracefully. Blowing through a curly hair. Oh, it's really hard not to stare. She reminds me of a girl I've seen before. Huh? She looks like Zendaya. She even talks like Zendaya. When she rolls through the room, everybody drops a jaw. She amazing. Oh, yeah, she bad. Baby, you bad, bad, bad. Oh, yeah, she bad. This 
was a journey to be sure. Partially, I'm like, I regret it. I literally spent like at least 80 hours of my life on this dress and there are definitely um, more worthwhile things to do in this world, but material wise, it didn't cost too much. The yellow part of the fabric cost like $15. The red was just $10. I spent about $25 on the actual material. I bought this stuff from Joann's instead of the other fabric I got from like a discount fabric place. So that was about $25 as well, which you can't even see it. It's so funny, the most expensive part of the dress you can't see. I really, really want to be the person that's that's what I get for being outside. Of course, I really want to be the person who wins this contest. If you would like to help me win, please, please, please go to my Instagram and share one of the photos that I have posted and tag Vogue Magazine and myself, of course, with the hashtag MetGalaChallenge. And if you're sharing it, if you could tag Zendaya as well, because even if I don't win the contest, if Zendaya sees this dress, it'll have been totally worth it. 100% worth it. I have to switch arms because I'm getting tired. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, especially if you made it this far. I would love to hear what you think about this dress and my sewing process. I am not a pro, so I would love some tips down below. And of course, if you are new here, please subscribe. I come up with fashion-related content every single week, and I'll be seeing you next week. When I think about it more, I can be the guy to swing around the town. Yeah, she can call me Spider Man. I can be the one to take her up and down. Ooh, we can shake it up again. I can be a euphoria. Cause baby girl, I'm needing more of you. I'll go through the dune so I can see her. Cause she looks like Zendaya. She even talks like Zendaya. When she rolls through the room, everybody drops their jaw. She amazing. Ooh, yeah, she bad. Baby, you bad, bad.